Coming into the decisive Game 7, Luka Doncic and the Dallas Mavericks were the underdogs against the Phoenix Suns. After all, the Suns finished the regular season with a league-high 64 wins and were expected to represent the Western Conference in the 2022 NBA Finals. That seemed true when the Suns took a 2-0 lead against the Mavs in the Western Conference semifinals. But since then, things have gone pretty much downhill for the Chris Paul and Devin Booker-led team. After taking a 3-2 lead in the series, the Suns were becoming a bit cocky. Booker even mocked Luka during the game. D-Book took some contact and stayed on the floor for a long time while labeling it as the, the Luka special. It was a clear shot at Doncic, but instead of saying something directly to Booker, he released this short comment at the end of Game 5. He then continued and replied to Booker with his play. Doncic scored 33 points and the Mavericks beat the Suns 113, 86 in Game 6, and forced a deciding game at Arizona. During the post-game interview, Doncic explained he likes the trash talk and that it gets him going. I like when people trash talk to me. Uh, gets me going. Uh, you know, it's, it's fun, man. It's basketball. Uh, there's going to be a lot of trash talking and I like it. It's fun for me. It's competitive basketball and I like it. In Game 7, Dallas held a 10 points lead after the first 12 minutes with Luka nearly tallying a double-double in the process. Doncic with 12 points. Booker and Paul combine 0-7, 26% shooting for the Suns. It did not get any better for the Phoenix Suns in the second quarter with the league's best team from the regular season scoring all of 10 points. By the time this game hit halftime, the Suns had found themselves down 57-27. to 27. 27 point lead, down goes Johnson, three lead. They're shredding him! Oh no, he didn't! The defending Western Conference champions were down 30 points through 24 minutes as Mavs superstar Luka Doncic matched the Suns' entire point total in the first half, while smiling and trash-talking the Suns' players with every score. With Suns fans heartbroken for their team's poor performance, the crowd was heard booing the team while many more left the game well before the final buzzer. 27 first-half points by the Suns! and the boos cascading down. Doncic led the Mavs to back-to-back -back victories featuring the recent blowout victory in Game 7. It took the world by shock as the Suns were favorites to win this hard-fought series. I gotta apologize, I didn't see this coming. I was in shock yesterday. Instead, they were utterly destroyed by Doncic and the Mavs. Luka finished the game with a stellar 35 points, 10 boards and 4 assists for the advancing Mavs. Obviously, fans remembered Booker's shot at Doncic in Game 5 and they created a meme of Luka looking at Devin after knocking the Suns out of the playoffs. With that, Luka's revenge seems to be complete. Over the course of the seven-game series, Luka outscored fourth-place MVP Booker. 218 to 164 points, out-rebounded 7-foot center D'Ander 8 and 69 to 57, out-assisted point guard Chris Paul 49 to 40 and had more steals than defensive player of the year runner-up Miles Bridges 15 to 9. Doncic completely outplayed every key Sun player in his own field. It's true that the Suns were the best team in the league during the regular season, but they couldn't make it count when it mattered the most. Evidently, this has placed a target on the back of the franchise for backlashes. While the Western Conference semifinals are over, the job is far from over for the Mavs. They still have to cross two hurdles before becoming the 2022 NBA champion. But the way that Doncic is playing, the Mavericks have certainly become heavy favorites to win it all this season. Tell us in the comments who you got qualifying to the NBA Finals between the Mavs and the Warriors. And if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe for more. For even more basketball content subscribe to our other channels, Vintage Dawkins and Squad Dawkins and follow us on social media.